This is Ira Flato, and you're listening to NPR's Science Friday. Joining us today by phone from his office in Pasadena, California, is Dr. Sheldon Cooper. Oh, this is going to be a wire. Thanks for being with us today, Dr. Cooper. My pleasure, Ira. Now, let's talk about magnetic monopoles. Can you explain to our audience just what a monopole is? Of course. First, consider an ordinary magnet, which has, as even the most uneducated in your audience must know, two poles. <clears throat> uh, north and south pole. If you cut that in half, you have two smaller magnets, each with its own north and south pole. Uh, Dr. Cooper, I think there might be something wrong with our connection. Uh, no, I hear you fine. <laughs> As I was saying, an ordinary magnet has two poles. The primary characteristic of a monopole is that it has only one pole, hence monopole. A requirement for string theory, or M theory, if you will, is the existence of monopoles. I myself led an expedition to the Arctic Circle in search of said particles. Crinky, I found the nozzle. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? I was humiliated on national radio. How do you think I'm doing? Come on, it wasn't that bad. What do you want? We represent the Lollipop Guild, and we want you. <laughs> okay, so Kripke played a joke on you. It wasn't funny. I thought it was funny. Raj. Oh. <laughs> you laughed? <laughs> Did you laugh? <laughs> I fell on the floor. <laughs> All right, he got you. You can get him back. I refuse to sink to his level. You can't sink. With all that helium in you, you're lucky you don't float away. <laughs> Are you really admitting defeat? I never admit defeat. Good. However, on an unrelated topic, I'm never getting out of this bed again. <laughs> what if you could make Kripke look even sillier than he made you look? I don't think that's possible, dude. You're not helping! I didn't come to help, I came to mock. <laughs> Sheldon, what you need to do is figure out a way to exact vengeance on Kripke. Like, uh... Like, how the Joker got back at Batman for putting him in the Arkham Asylum for the criminally insane. That's true, he didn't just stay there and talk about his feelings with the other psychotic villains. He, he broke out and poisoned Gotham's water supply. <laughs> well... I suppose I could poison Kripke. No, no. It's a simple matter. There are several toxic chemicals that'd be untraceable in an autopsy. Okay, uh, that's the spirit, but um, let's dial it back to a non-lethal form of vengeance. Oh. How about we put a whoopee cushion on his office chair? He'll sit down and it'll sound like he's flatulent, even though he's not. Let's keep thinking. 